Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven with 137 Adventures and in today's video we are going to be installing a backup camera cleaner on the Ram TRX. The product we're going to be using is Clearview Cam. I'm going to show you how to do it in less than 25 minutes so let's get started. When you receive your package these are the items that will come in your kit. Here are the tools that are required for the install. Fish tape is not a requirement, however, it will help with routing the washer fluid hose. Using a T25 bit, remove the 8 bolt on the tailgate. Once removed, use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two nuts holding the latch assembly. The assembly should come out fairly easy. Remove the wiring harness and disconnect from the camera. Using the T25 bit, remove the two screws holding the backup camera. Be sure to check the orientation of the camera before removing. This will help with reinstallation. Using the template provided, line up with the factory assembly. Hold up. Before drilling, ensure that the template is on correctly. I realized after making the cuts that the template should have been reversed. So passenger side on Ram truck models. Drill a pilot hole, then use a 5 drill bit to make your cut. Ensuring the rubber grommet is on the sprayer, insert the sprayer into the assembly. Be sure not to over tighten the lock nut. Next, cut about 6 inches of washer fluid hose and attach it to the sprayer. Now we're going to grab the camera brace and we're going to drill a 5 16 hole just like you see here. I recommend starting with a pilot hole first and then use a 5 16 bit. Take the washer fluid hose and put it through the camera brace and then reinstall your camera into the factory assembly. Next, you're going to install the check valve. Ensure that the arrow is facing towards the sprayer. And now we're ready to route the hose. On the driver's side of the engine bay, locate the stock washer fluid line. This is what we're going to be tapping into. Grab the included washer fluid hose and connect one end to the line that supplies the spray nozzles on the hood. Then we will grab the T-fitting and insert that into the truck's washer fluid line. Now it's time to route the washer fluid hose to the rear of the truck. This is pretty straightforward, just ensure you stay away from any components that get hot. My recommendation is to route the hose through the frame. Follow the wiring harness that goes to the rear camera and zip tie the washer fluid hose to that. That will ensure a clean look while also keeping things secured. The last step is to attach the hose into the check valve and reinstall the tailgate cover. And that is going to be it for this install. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit the comment section down below. Let me know if this is something that you guys would install on your vehicle. Also, I'll leave a link in the description for this product with a discount code because everybody loves a discount code. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.